back to the channel y'all in this video we're gonna be working on the trim here on my nissan pathfinder hellcat y'all see how that trim got me y'all see how look at that we're gonna use the turtle wax black polish instead of using anything else i want to use something that's more natural it's the truck man y'all can see the whole entire vehicle that we're working on here all right so uh let's get started man all right prop it all up a little bit there we go all right so i'm gonna come in here come in here you guys can see me pretty good let's see what i'm doing i'm gonna just come in here and work in this turtle wax ceramic black polish I think the pigments from this are kind of darken, darken the trim at the same time. I won't really have to worry about it being greasy and washing away. Now, a lot of that greasy stuff, hard, heavy downpours of rain, sometimes that stuff just washes right away, especially if it's water-based. All right, so let's get with it, man. Let's see what it's going to do on this trim. And I'm just going to hit half of it so you guys see the difference. Let's get it. I don't know how good it's really and truly going to work. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm just thinking that it will work. I'm thinking that it will work. Wow, man, I'm just going to hit that fender a little bit. Now, I'm kind of massaging it down into the blackness of this plastic here. Right. Yes, sir. All right. So, once I put it in here, like I said, I'm just only trying to get the pigments out of this and at the same time getting the ceramic protection the slickness and everything out in the product this lasts for I think it lasts for a full year it has a carnival wax protection as well all right so semi clean microfiber because it's gonna get dirty with this product like so uh let's go ahead and buff it off I actually went over and hit the fender with it because it worked so good for dark colors as well. Dark blues, I would say. Yes, sir. All right, now the story of the story. Let's see how this stuff done on this black trim. All right, let's get it. I don't know how it's really gonna work now. I'm just thinking that it, it will help, and it did. And I would say this be more of a natural way of kind of shining your black trim than just packing a whole lot of greasy products up there that's gonna wash away when it rains, you know? Okay. But you know, truly, it's gonna wash away, wash away when it rains. So, I just hit it with one good coat. All right, let's come in. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. See that trim? Looks more natural. As you guys can see back here, where I haven't touched. See here, this stuff is good on black trim. Look at here. This is why I did it. This is why I didn't touch it at all. See the difference? 50-50 right there. See there? And this stuff will also help put the pigments. Look how good it does on trim. See that? Put the dark black pigments back into the trim. Look at there. Tell me that ain't a big difference from where it looked at first. See that? So I just want to share that, man. Y'all about to stop capping. 
stop the kids out. Stop capping on turtle wax stuff, man. Tell you, it's a lot of uses for a product like this. Even on your trim. Y'all about to get with it. Turtle wax black polish, man. Still got my trim looking good. Y'all see the difference? All right. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> Hit that subscribe, man. All right. And your boy is out of here. I'm out, y'all. We got to get on that black track hall over there on the deep corner to the highway. Y'all see it way over there? We got to work on that Jeep Cherokee track hall way over there. All right. I'm out of here. Peace, peace, peace.